Hey everyone, this is Mr. Everything, and I wanted to show with, unfortunately, with the Grand Marquis or Crown Victoria or any uh, Panther that uses this co color of white. I don't think the town cars did. Theirs is more of a cream. But you're gonna have this problem. I was just washing my car and some more of this peeled up with the sprayer. And this is the white trash way to repair this because you can strip it and sand it and do it right. And then in like a couple weeks or six months at the most, it'll just bubble up somewhere else or you'll do it here and it'll do it back here. You can see this was all done with touch up paint. I really didn't want to try and mask this off, but this will just keep peeling. It's been like this for six years, so it actually hasn't gotten that bad. It's never really come across to here. And for the touch up, I've used this one. I don't, I haven't been able to find this one. You can get it on eBay. Uh, it's kind of funny how it almost perfectly matches. Obviously this is clear coated and that's not, and this is newer and this is older, but you know, beyond that, it, it, it's not that bad. So I kind of lucked out with that. And as always, anytime I go to do this, the wind picks up without every time I've ever attempted this. But I picked this up and again, it's kind of funny because it almost perfectly matches the paint for not being prepared at all and not cleared. Uh, you might be able to see where I used to touch it up when it was like the size of a dime or a quarter. And then when you peel it and it's the size of a softball or a basketball, then you decide it's not worth doing that anymore. And as you layer it on, then it looks terrible. And again, you can see that even the cheap, non-properly prepped um, Rust-Oleum holds up better than uh, Ford Motor Company's wonderful paint that can't withstand any type of weather, apparently. So this is my white trash spray bruise that I'll use. And I like to spray it here. I'll wait until the wind dies down, but I'll probably have to do it off camera. But I'll hold this here, spray this on, and that prevents the overspray from being everywhere. And then usually my paint's waxed anyway. I go over this with alcohol. And then any excess, you might feel it, but I can either, usually I don't even care anymore because this car is pretty old and it runs well. So just, I try to at least keep the primer spots hidden and just deal with it. Especially with the prices now, I don't want to pay to do it right now with the whole car resprayed. And it's also two-tone, so <laughs> it would cost even more. And the summit when we're going to just do the top half. And honestly, I mean, it's so bright out, I can't tell if the camera's picking this up, but you really can't tell. That's what I can't believe is how well that matches. And it's uh, that little of effort. And I'll probably go over it with the second coat. And uh, from a distance, I mean, it doesn't look right, but it looks better than having a big primer spot. And what I like to do is either get my fingernail or a plastic razor blade and peel up as much as this that'll come off because it might be this big but then if you can get more to pull up you'll save yourself in like a couple weeks when that piece peels so this is just kind of a lesson in a uh, white trash panther platform repairs again i used to spend more time and do it cleaner and mask everything off but it's just not worth it when you have to keep doing it over and over so that's the way i tolerate it is i'll peel as much off when it starts to bubble spray it in and then just it, it's not that bad now this little spot, I'll probably use the uh, touch-up brush for, but it doesn't come out. It will start to raise. Maybe there's more, uh, I don't know what the chemical will just keep that paint from drying up in the can. And it does seem to react. Sometimes your edges will peel up. So I might have to go over it a second time, but it's not that bad. And I just went over it with the second coat. Obviously it has to dry, but uh, it, it's okay, you know, there is overspray and it, it's not perfect, but it didn't peel up too bad aside from that one end and I, there's enough seeped in there that it'll harden it. And then it can't went like a few months by the time I wash it, will probably rip that piece off, but so hopefully that's helpful if you have a Crown Victoria. I know a lot of them are way worse where the whole car is like that and some of the Mercury's, but uh, the best tip would just be to 
avoid buying uh, Ford's white paint cars, at least the Panthers. And I know some other makes have done this too, but it seems like it's a common thing if anyone that has a white one. So that's the low effort way to do it and it's cheap. And I, I mean, it's, it saves you from buying the actual factory coated paint because this matches pretty closely. And from a distance, especially if you get down on a level, you can tell it's there, but in motion or it's like some angles make it look way worse. But it's not too awful. And it's not like I don't take care of my cars because they're, I mean, the interior is still like perfect in this thing. It's just that the, their paint just apparently can't handle the wear and tear. So hopefully that's a helpful tip. someone that's in that situation that's the cheapest fix that is somewhat uh somewhat of a pretty good way to do it so thanks for watching you'll see me in the next one have a good one